up everyone, Game Master 468 bring you the next part of my Toontown Knockout. And in this video, we are going to fight the second boss of the game, which is the Catch Boss CFO. Alright, now as you make your way there, you want to make sure you avoid these trains here. You need to make it across the tracks by going across the red lines here. And as you can see, there are, ga there are gaps there, but don't worry about them. You don't have to jump over them. Which makes no sense. Anyway, um, just make sure you time it correctly, and you should make it through just fine. As you can see, we just now passed the challenge. It's really good. Let's so let's keep going. Let's go climbing up these stairs. Let's go climb up these stairs. And see the, that big dollar sign? That's really a door that leads to the CFO boss battle. Let's head up there now. Try to avoid these cogs. Oh, dude, yeah, be quiet. You're not in this video. Uh, okay, moving forward. Heading up these styles. And right here is the boss battle to the CFO. Let's head inside and cutting out the long process of getting a boarding group and skipping right to the cutscene. Let's get started. Hey, you guys made it! Follow me to the main vault! Yeah, baby! Oh, yeah. oh no, that speech bubble's too small for me to read! Let's see what he has to say! I see if I work hard. Oh! I thought I smelled something a little too in here. Imposters! <laughs> I'm busy, I'm gonna set a trap! Oh, oh. Get them! Alright, and I'm going to just cut out the cog fights as usual. Because you've seen the cog fights a, a million times before in this up through. So, yeah, and. Ow! What? <laughs> you big bully! <laughs> he is a bully. How mean of him. What a meanie. <laughs> Nerf some people, you know. It's time. Everything rests in your hands. What is everything? I don't know, but... Shut up. Okay, so let's just um, get started. Watch this! Get away from that! Control magnet stepping up to a podium. Use the arrow keys to move the crane and press control key to grab a stick. But hey, 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 hey! Skipping that, skipping that. Don't tell him how to beat the boss. That's my job. Eek! Gotta run. Say, uh, losers. Well, okay. Here is what you have to do to beat. The CFO. Like the monkey says, go to a crane and and use the arrow keys to move the ground and press the control key to pick stuff up. I don't know if you have to hold down the control key or if you just have to push it. Now I know if you could be so kind, just leave that in the comments. Let them know what it is you have to do. And anyways, what you have to do is Jeez, explosions and interrupting me, gosh. As I was saying, what you need to do to hit him is you see those little flashlight guys down there? They're called goons. Thank you for clearing that up, Sonya 800. Anyway, you want to pick up the goons and you want to toss them at the CFO to hurt him. However, see how there's a safe on his head? When there's a safe on his head, you can't hit him. So what you want to do is you want to pick up another safe and toss it at him in order to knock off the safe. Then you're free to toss as many goons as you want until he gets another safe on him. Just basically just keep doing this until the CFO is defeated. But let, like, let's see how this looks like. You just take a safe and toss it at him to knock off his safety helmet. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> 
see, I don't know if they actually have to toss it, I think you just have to swing it. Nah, tossing it seems... Hmm. I don't know, all I have to do is you, all I know is you have to hit him with the safe somehow to knock it off. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> Man, this is taking a while. Oh yeah, and that's up for his pets, duh. There we go. Okay. Now No. <laughs> okay, come on, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Eh hey, yeah, do it. I believe in you. in a while, so I think I'll be right back until he actually hits him. Okay, right there, see? That's how you do it. You gotta toss it on and then it'll knock the safety helmet off. Alright, now that the safety helmet is off, go ahead and toss some goons at him. Yeah, goons, goons, goons. Man, explosions left and right, man. I love the Cog Boss music. It's like the most awesome tune in this game. Stop picking up the saves, gosh. <laughs> oh, it looks like when you hit him with the goons, you'll be temporarily stunned and hit him with pretty much anything. Not sure if that's how it actually goes, but... Whatever. Looks like it. Alright, so the fight's still going good. It's still going strong, man. <laughs> wow, he's already on the yellow. Fast. Thank you, thank you. That's a little something I like to call wise. No, it's not, not what it's called, it's the, I'm just wondering what it safe. Anyway, um, so we start again. Let's hit him with everything we yell. Oh, that didn't hurt him. Yeah. Refumple. Refumple. Oh, yeah, if you can look, if you look very closely, you'll notice that when the goons die, they, they drop, like, ice cream cones and basically, like, health pickups and stuff like that. That's for if you're, like, low on laugh and health and stuff. So you can just run and get the health you need in case you need it. It's pretty helpful. Wait, the highest item that gives you the most health are the little weeds from Donald's Dreamland. So, yeah. 
Well, come on, get him, get him, get him. Hit him with something. He's stuck. Never mind. He's not stuck. Come on, people, do something. Swirl something. Do something. Make them, make them cry. I mean, uh, uh. Wow, nothing's really happening. Okay, that was a very awkward silence. Uh oh, yes. Safety helmet on. Knock that safety helmet off. Yeah. Everybody sing. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. Small world. Thank you, thank you. And that's a song that I like to call Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, so let's just keep. Alright, let's take the moments off, that's nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, you go down. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, bring the hurt on them, bring the hurt, bring the hurt, and he does, that's not good. You wanna bring the hurt on him, you gotta make sure he doesn't get up, yeah. Make sure that you ain't knock him down so badly that he's gonna need to wipe away, okay? So yeah, and then, baby. Oh yeah, he's on the orange, he's on the orange, he's on the orange, oh yeah, oh yeah. Things are getting really sticky now. It made no sense. Okay. Yeah, baby. Yeah, this is how clothes do it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, what? Woo, that should have hit him. That should have hit him. That should have hit him. I'm sure if you noticed, but there are bigger goons coming out of him now. You see, the more health he loses, the closer he gets to dying, the more stronger goons that he sends out. So, like, so yeah, he's going to not doing this and way more health than usual. I think a good strategy that you could use is that one person gets in the frame, while the other people knock out the goons. More people in the trains, more people in the goons. That's a good strategy that I think you should use. Damn, baby! That was an awesome and epic hit. Oh, yay. Yeah. Ow! That is... Ouchie. Right, things are going a lot better this time around. Oh, whoa! That was a close attempt. Sadly, it wasn't close enough. Oh yeah, one thing I should note is you can't pick up the goons unless they're stunned. I think that's the only way you can pick up the goons. Yeah. Yep, and as you can see, there are some stronger goons coming out. Some of these orange hats. Yeah, they cause more damage when you get spotted. And you want to be careful, because it actually is possible for them to catch you while you're operating the train, like what happened right there. So you want to be very careful with that. And yep, there it happened again. Basically, you want to make sure you stun these goons and don't get caught. Yeah, so be careful of that. You don't want anything bad to happen like that. 
That would be very, very bad. Although, things seem to not be going well. <laughs> And make sure you get that health that they got. Don't want to die. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, very careful. You don't want to die. Hint, hint. Alright, it doesn't look like it's gonna be much longer now. He's on his last leg. And yeah, I feel you, dude. I feel you, dude. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to like you. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, oh! This is going well. Ah, this is one of those lag bits. Okay, help. Help, you're getting help again. That's good. No one needs to heal. No one needs to heal. Everything is okie dokie now. Uh oh, hey, okay. come here. This is creepy. Not really, but there are so many of these flashlight guys everywhere. There's everywhere, me, and you're everywhere. You don't. You gotta beat the boss. Which is him. Oh yeah, and there's something I didn't point out. DJ's back! Oh yeah! I never mentioned that before. Yeah, DJ's back everyone! Say hi to everyone! Hi everyone! Yeah! Yeah! Okay. So, yeah, I wish I could see his light so I can see how much... how close he is to being dead. No, not, not him, but boss. You know how they have those little lights on the chest to let you know how close they are to dying? Oh, he's really close. He's a boss in the Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, no! Someone died! Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no. One person died! One more? I thought that was the sound of another one dying. That was just the sound of all that was done. I thought that was someone else that I thought it was the wah, wah, wah. But now it's just the wah noise. Yeah. It's that person who died to be dead now. Probably walking around outside. If only I was still in that fight. <laughs> oh, why? I wouldn't stand next to that. Oh, they're lagging again. Yeah. Look, moon rock, moon rock. Moon rock and goon. Yeah, they're all moon rock and This would be so good to a Michael Jackson song right about now. Uh, not anymore. So he's very, very close, everyone. Alright, everyone, this looks like it's gonna be pretty close. This is gonna be really awesome. Really good fight, he's at full health again. And he's just holding a red balloon in my face that has a face on it. Putting that aside, uh <laughs> just gonna do this next video. 
No. No. Yeah, I see it. No, I do not want to give you your my cheese. I don't want to give you your cheese. I already have my cheese. I want your cheese. But I don't want to give you my cheese. I don't want any cheese. Well, if I don't want to give it to you. Well, I don't. Nope. Give me your cheese. Okay, here. Okay, so, he's very close, he's flashing red, things are getting really close, this is the whole stretch of everyone. Uh-oh, another person died. Oh. Okay, technically he got sad, but come on, when you lose all your health in the game, the, t the actual term you use is die. Come on, let's face it. Okay, so, how many turns is that left? I don't know really. Let's see, it looks like there's one, two, three. I think there are only three tunes left. Which is not good, really. Not good at all. Well, health is flashing red, isn't he? I mean, I'm sure we're gonna win any moment now. We're gonna have a happy ending. You know, we'll be able to defeat this boss and we'll be one step closer to completing the through. So, I want to say, Mellow Jello, way to go, Me What? Oh, no! how you beat the CFO boss in the Cashbot HQ. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, so next time we're going to do the Wobba HQ, but before we do that, I think in the next video, I'm going to do a five-story cog building. Yep, and that's going to be coming up right after this video today, so stick around. And yep, so in the next video, I'm going to do a five-story cog building. See you guys then!